Hey guys, Wild Tech Lotion here, and I'm making a video today to show you guys how to create a professional looking stream without having to fork up like a lot of cash, hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of dollars. Um, I will show you guys some options of items that are pretty high end, um, pretty good looking, but at the same time, I'll show you items that are also, uh, you know, affordable for everyone. So you don't have to, again, make a stream that looks so great for like more than hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars, especially if you're starting out, specifically starting out, this would be great for you because you will be able to create a professional looking stream without going broke. And then, you know, the first things you should do when creating a stream is at least make it look professional. Uh, that's one of the first things that I tried to do. And I think my stream looks pretty, I'll say I love my the way of my stream. I think it looks pretty freaking great. Um, you know, it has a nice thumbnail and people are scrolling down through the twitch.tv, hitbox, YouTube, whatever. Um, I stream on twitch.tv mainly, but you know, it, it has a nice, appeal to it so that's one of the things you really want to get to is at least have a, a good look for your stream so i'll show you guys a bunch of items that you can, guys can get that aren't going to break your bank and you know you're going to fork up a bunch of cash but you'll be able to make a nice looking stream so uh first one i'll show you guys mine this is everything i have uh right now so this is as you see i stream league of legends a lot so obviously the uh, layouts will vary depending on what you stream uh, for example this is mine right now so you guys see I have League of Legends here. People can see me interacting on my league menu, stuff like that. Um, you know, play all that jazz. They can see it. It's good. See the game. See me. Um, looks great. Uh, I have a green screen in the back here. I use the only lighting I have is my ceiling fan light. Like it's it's not. I'm not. I didn't fork up a bunch of cash to get some nice backlit room. I, I should because it actually you know you, you see the shadows in the back like you know it, it can get annoying especially when I see it. I see I see all my little mistakes and so I want to get lights. Uh, on the back of me to get that you know fixed uh, you know i have the newest follower yet, as you can tell it's wild trash explosion um great guy that uh recent donator poppy from the other team 350 uh, those little things I have to work on is the font but again you know it's just at least i have it there for people who actually donate and stuff like that uh my chat as you, you type in my twitch chat your your chat will pop up on the you know well you can't see my, my camera but you'll see it all the way over there um You'll see that kind of stuff before I start my stream. I actually have this up here. Um, I actually have it up there without my video camera. So you see, starting soon, I'll have some music playing on there. Nice little animation. It was made by a uh, girl named Kaylee with a four. Uh, I'll put her Twitter in the description of the video because I'm sure she will make you a cool one if you ask. Um, she has great, great layouts. Um, I also have like you know an in-game layout for League of Legends because. League of Legends is one of those things that will have an in-game layout. So I'll just go and pop that in real quick so you guys see the whole effect. That won't take too long. But you guys see like all these little things I have interacting with my chat. Um, I actually have a nice mic. I'll show you guys the mic I use in a second, but let's pull it up here. Uh, see right here, the Blue Yeti. Let me just pull it up. Blue Yeti, uh, my, my, my mic sounds a little louder now that I'm closer to it. But you know, I got that. It wasn't too much of a hundred dollars, you know. Um, I don't consider that breaking bank. A hundred dollars is well worth something, especially if you're trying to put into a uh, thing you plan to doing for a very long time. It was one of the first things I bought, um, right next to my camera. Um, but see, look, uh, so let's see, game's gonna be loading up. You see, you'll see the characters. I have a nice layout for, you know, all right, usually this top left thing won't be there. But I have an uptime, you know, I'll show you the program. I'll put it in the uptime description below if you guys want to get an uptime. Uh, follower gold, that's Twitch alerts. Um, it's another great program. I think there's Streamlabs now. So I'll see, everyone can see my abilities in League of Legends. They can see my, you know, flash, everything, etc. Gold, timer. Um, you know, they see the map. They see the, where the characters should be, like uh, right here. They'll see where the other characters in the game are. You know, it's just, you know, you have to have a nice looking layout. Plus, get, make sure you get all the information out. Um, so let me just pull over to the Amazon.com is where I usually where I got everything. To be honest, guys. Uh, the only thing I didn't get off Amazon was the layouts. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, even these little uh, let's see where I can get. I'll move them on the map on the screen now. This little Jolteon right there. Googled it. Umbreon Googled it. I had a friend make this uh, background. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're making any. Uh, I'll ask them if they are making some still. Uh, I think I paid twenty dollars for this one. Okay, so then. Let me pull up Amazon really quick. All right, so this is Amazon, right? Um, this is for the green screen. The green screen does not cost much money. I think it's really worth it. If you can get a green screen, it'll make your stream look pretty professional. I think green screens make someone's stream look 
10 times more professional off the bat. You know, here, you can get some from this whole setup. I wouldn't recommend this. I don't think anyone really needs that unless you have like a, enough room. Uh, but you know, eighty-four dollars if you wanted to. I, I got, I think I got this one professional photography green screen. Like this, thirty bucks. That's not much at all. You know, I think there's even some for cheaper. Eighteen, eight, nine, eighteen ninety-nine. You know, fifteen eighty-seven. You know, you don't have to fork up a huge amount of money. Um, since we're on green screens, if you wanted to go to, let me get that out of the way. Uh, cameras right here. Uh, this one's a little bit more expensive. This is the. I don't actually have this one, but this is the one I would have purchased if I could right now. Uh, it is a pro stream, even say pro streaming in it, you know, like it is a I, Amazon made a camera for streamers, basically, or not Amazon Logitech, and they're marketing it for streamers now. Like it's great. You have these bundles. See, this is the Blue Yeti that I would purchase as well if I had time. This is the the, the camera I use right now. So if you want to save a little bit of cash, fifty nine eighty six, it's fine. You know, um, you know, it does it gets the job done. That's what I have. It looks great. I love it. Um, you don't even need to have a camera to have a professional looking stream again, you know, these are just accessories You don't have to have a camera, you know, like let me pull up my stream like imagine if I just didn't have um, My camera, you know, look, you say this is a pretty uh, Professional looking stream still let me just get the camera out of the way of course Like maybe I'm just ugly like maybe I shouldn't even use a camera Maybe I get more viewers if I didn't use a camera because I'm ugly as fuck who knows, you know, see it still looks pristine clean everything's there Information, Typhlosion, there's a theme with it. You know, try and make a theme to the best of your ability. Um, these really help a stream and people get noticed. And you know, the next thing would be personality, stuff like that. I don't have a good personality, but you know, I have a professional looking stream. Um, next thing I would suggest getting is a Blue Yeti. Again, if you don't have Blue Yeti, I use Blue Yeti because I like it, it's great, it's a good mic. Um, but you, know, you can use a headset like this, like that's it. You don't need to have some, you know, fancy $100 headset. You can use a Logitech headset. Like, let's see, these are like I think thirty bucks. Logitech G four thirty. Like, these, it's a great headset. I'm pretty sure sneaky. Like, people who get like thousands and thousands of viewers use this headset. Like, this headset isn't even expensive. It's only forty bucks. You know, you can use it for anything. Like, it's not just gonna be your streaming headset. I can plug this into my PlayStation Four, my Xbox One. You know, this stuff it, it works great. You know, I've had it for like several years. You guys should definitely invest in like just a nice headset with a mic. You know, that mic doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound that great, but it's something. You know, um, if you do get a Blue Yeti, I'd recommend getting one of these microphone stands. You know, it's only sixteen ninety nine and. You know, again, you know, do some chores if you can't fork it up. You know, $130 is not a lot of money to get something started, you know. Um, if you're going to be dedicating a lot of time to this, you know, two hours a day, 20 hours a week, you know, I'd say just go the extra mile to invest into it. If you really want to become something, you know, just put a little bit of effort, you know, spend a little bit of money now. So, you know, if you say you want to make a career out of this, you can, you know, make, spend money now so you can make money later, you know, stuff like that. You know, if this is just a hobby, again, I think having a quality stream, you know, I'm not making bank off of streaming, you know, or YouTube or anything like that, but it's like something I love to do, something I, you know, I have a hobby, it's great. You know, when I'm not working at Amazon, I go and I, you know, <laughs> record, stream videos, you know, stuff like that. It's so, it, it's it's fun for me. So I, and I am not gonna complain about spending a little bit of money to have, have a fun hobby, you know? It's just like someone who spends money to, you know, have a hobby of, Golfing, I don't know. Like you have to spend some money to get some nice equipment. I'm sure. You know, this is just the same thing. And you know, these cameras are pretty great. Honestly, if I were, if you guys right now, you had no money was an object. Um, there's another mic I'd actually get besides Blue Yeti, but this one's not bad. One hundred fifteen dollars. Buy this. Sixteen dollars. It's one hundred thirty dollars. Get this one. No, let's round it up to ninety. One hundred thirty. Two hundred. Math. Two hundred twenty bucks for that. Plus, get that green screen. $250 and you have a professional setup, uh, audio equipment, video equipment, uh, green screen, which is great. You know, it takes a little bit of configuring in your in your OBS, but again, it's worth the time. The more time you put into your stream, the better it will look. Um, don't just be that person that goes and makes a stream, has a donate button, and then goes out streams, links their Twitch, TV after a game, League of Legends, and then goes, hey guys, I put a lot of effort into it. And you go to it and you see no effort put. I, I, I hate when I see that because I, I enjoy looking at people's streams. Whenever they link it, I'm like, oh, cool. Let me see what they've done. Let me see what kind of stream they've made today. I'm like, oh, okay, they, they haven't done anything. That's kind of a bummer. Um, cap chat. This is what I use to see all the 
uh, my viewers chat on screen so they can see it while I'm streaming. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, it even has like instructions to solve for OBS. It'll give you step by step how to do it. Pretty great, guys. I definitely say get into that as well. Um, again, I'll have all the links in the description. Um, so don't worry. Um, if you have any questions on who did something, I'll try and get my best to get you an answer. Like the layout on this one, I'm not sure if they're doing it right now, but um, if they are, I'll hit them up and see if they'll make any special requests. Uh, you know, just try and get a theme going, try and get some professional looks going. As you can see, I have Pokemon because my name's Wild Typhlosion. Love Pokemon. I think it's a great theme to go with. Um, it matches everything, you know, in, out of game. In game, you see little Typhlosions. They're great. You know, I had my friend make this one as well. I actually don't, he, this was just his one time thing. He hasn't made anything else since this one. He just went ahead and went in Photoshop one day and just did this for me. I think it's great. I've been using it ever since. And again, you know, I think my next step for me is actually getting better lighting for the back of me. But you know, again, you know, it's all about that thumbnail that pops up. Like, let me pull up my twitch.tv broadcast, you know? Um, let me just pull it up really quick. We can see these little VOD, uh, you know, thumbnails and, you know, compare them to other people. Well, I won't pull up anyone else right now because I don't want to be that guy. But, you know, like, let's see. I'll go to videos real quick. And then let's go to display. See, look. So you guys see these, all these thumbnails, you know, these look like a professional fucking stream. Like, oh, these are old, those old, 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 old. But like, you know, like a lot of these thumbnails, um, you know, just pop by, you see, oh, this guy has a green screen going on, a nice, you know, layout, chat up there, uptime, you know, I'll link all that stuff in the description. Um, I'd say even get a banner, you know, I had my friend make me a banner, he's great at that too. If you want, I'll link him in the description for the banner. Um, you know, I also have my YouTube going on, so let's see if we can find my YouTube page, uh, how that syncs with everything. Oops. In the meantime, we'll get a wild type version and we'll scroll down. Look at this. This is I have everything here. And I was trying again, it's all about having a theme, making it look quality, uh, PC specs, boom, subscribe. That should not be there. Um, donate, you know, it's all great. Uh, Twitter, YouTube, top donators, about page, you know, I'm 20 years old, main account, Smurf, no one not gay. Uh, Instagram button, you know, stuff like that. Go to my YouTube page. Uh, again, you know, I have an icon of me, so I'm doing an animation picture of me with Typhlosion hoodie. Typhlosion background, you know? Uh, I got links to Facebook, Twitch, Twitter. Um, I definitely say make a t Facebook, Twitch, or a Facebook and a Twitter for your subscribers or your viewers, everyone, you know? You know you're making these videos, you're making these uh, streams. They wanna find a way to interact with you. You gotta do it, you know? Um, the more you interact with your viewers, the more they'll appreciate you uh, as a streamer and a content creator, stuff like that. So, you know, just, just go the extra mile. Say someone tweets at you, go ahead and respond to them. You know, it won't, it won't take you that long. You know, maybe even in the future when you're, you're pulling in thousands and thousands of viewers, thousands of tweets a day, maybe you can't respond to all of them. But, you know, I think interacting with your viewers is definitely one of the biggest things that you uh, will make or break a streamer. And so just keep, you know, keep it up. Just keep going at it. Always trying to be make sure who you were before you started streaming, stuff like that. And I think if you do all that, you know, get a nice little intro. You don't have to even have an intro. I just do one because... I thought it was a pretty cool thing to get. Again, I'll link Kaylee's Twitter in the description. I think she does them for $10. I might be wrong. I'll put the price in the description, but they're pretty great. And then, you know, in-game layouts, if you have a different game, like, uh, for example, League of Legends, you know, it has a little out-of-game layout because it has the client, out-of-game, and then in-game has a different view. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll definitely link all the uh, content in the description, you know, all the items. I mean, not content, you know, all the... Uh, Cameras, green screens, uh, mics, uh, people who made the layouts for me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, seriously, feel free to comment. I'll hit it, hit it, hook you up. And if you want to know how to basically, uh, you want some settings, let me see if I can pull up these settings real quick for you. Settings. Um, these are for me personally. Um, again, I don't know what kind of computer you guys have, but this is what I use for OBS Studio. Um, we set up the stream on YouTube because my Twitch account has been compromised, but you know, I use this kind of stuff. I have it, uh, set up for streaming and recording. So be careful if you copy my settings. Um, they are for high end streaming and recording at the same time. So, uh, this is what I use generally. I'm not really going to explain a lot of it cause I don't really understand a lot of it. Um, I just know that my streaming output is for, uh, internet that can handle like five megabits per second, um, or 10. That's around there, and you know, here we go. Process priorities, stuff like this. You guys can feel free to take a look at it. 
But again, I won't go into too much detail in this video. This is just how to make your stream look professional, what items to buy, what you can do in the future, stuff like that. Um, again, okay, actually totally, as I was editing the video, I realized I forgot a very, very important and crucial freaking detail. You need to make sure that you use Twitch alerts or Streamlabs for whatever you're uh, streaming on. Um, I, I stream on Twitch, so I know a lot more about the alerts that go through them. So this is the thing I use. It's called Twitch alerts. They're actually becoming Streamlabs. Um, so, you know, go to alert box. I'll, you know, they have test that stuff. Let me just turn it off real quick. So here you go. Look, test follower alert. Oh, See, so this one, yeah. that this is the test, you know, I have a nice little, oh yeah, going on. So I know it's a Twitch alert. Um, if you have donations, definitely use that. Uh, here it is for donation alert. Like, oh yes. Go. Oh God, yes. You know, something funny. This I is think, a test know. donation for $25. Have it read it out loud. These are really crucial elements that I think to make a stream too. You know, you always want to have that interaction with your viewers, make them feel like they're part of the stream. Honestly, if you guys want to, I'm going to link another streamer down below. His name is Calcep. He has his own fun, he's almost said that word, his own freaking website. You know, look, calcep.com. Look at this, his own website to connect with viewers. Um, let me pull it up right now. Look, I think this is awesome. Um, you know, you connect your Twitch through it. it he has items, he has rankings. It is, I can't pull it up without logging in right now. But, you know, it is honestly the best thing ever I've seen for it. Uh, a twitch.tv channel and I can't believe he doesn't get more viewers because of this I honestly think it is the greatest thing ever like how many streamers do you know that have a website honestly he's the only one I know if there are others you know I do apologize for not recognizing you but I think this is great he keeps up with his viewers he tweets with them has a Facebook page it is something that is great I'm not saying you guys need to create one but you know I'm saying if you could find ways to interact with your stream with your viewers again thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up didn't like it thumbs down if you have any questions or comments you know hit them up in the comment section you can always dm me tweet at me facebook messenger right on my facebook wall uh instagram even uh, what else do i have twitch messages you know i there shouldn't be any way you guys can't get in contact with me if you have any questions so i'll make sure to respond to as many of you guys as i can if there are a lot if there are none oh well um hopefully i was able to give you guys all the information you needed then so again, thank you guys for watching and you have a good one. Peace out.